Developing at 6, the city of Seattle has shut down a growing homeless encampment where a man built a cabin inside a park and claimed that he was mining for gold. City crews finally stepped in after weeks of concerns from neighbors who said the man was destroying Dr. Jose Rizal Park. Come as Jeremy Harris is live at the park tonight. And Jeremy, you've been reporting for months about the damage from this encampment. Well, and Molly and Eric, the park stewards here think it is going to take years to undo the damage that has been done. There was a homeless man living here. He claimed he had permission to build a cabin and also to mine out the hillside, all while bringing in beer kegs, appliances, and a lot of debris. Today, the city finally said enough. They have beer kegs in both hands, but today was no party for work crews who had to haul out an entire homeless encampment from Dr. Jose Rizal Park. They've taken down the cabin, which was really something. We took you into this encampment on Friday, where Stephen Irwin claimed he had permission to build this cabin and dig out this area where he claimed he was mining the hillside. With the encampment now cleared, you can see the damage that's been done to Dr. Rizal Park. This is where all the vegetation and trees have been cut down and cleared to make paths. And over here is where the guy told me that he was going to dig out the hillside to search for gold and diamonds. I have been impressed by his sheer audacity. Craig Thompson is a volunteer park steward and for months tried to get the city's attention about what Irwin was doing. The amount of damage that is done is truly considerable. Irwin was arrested in October for digging up the hillside with an excavator he took from a nearby construction site. But he came back to the park and followed through on his plans to build a cabin. You know, once again, when you're on methamphetamines, you can do amazing things. <laughs> and so I have a feeling that was one of the contributing factors here. With Irwin and his camp now gone, Thompson hopes the city will be more firm in protecting the park and not playing the same game over and over. It is going to take years. It is going to take a committed effort um, that the city has to put a plan together and follow it. Now, what happened to Irwin? Well, he got arrested by Seattle police. He's currently in jail on felony charges of malicious mischief and theft. Malicious mischief being damaging somebody else's property. I actually talked to his mother today in Mississippi. She said that the family had cut ties with him several years ago over his drug use. And she told me she hopes that he will get treatment and eventually get on a path to recovery. Reporting live at Dr. Jose Rizal Park, Jeremy Harris, Como News.